Excuse me before the fun begins. I'm not too used to the whiskey. <laughs> sure you're all right? Because it's going to cost you $2, no matter what. And don't you worry, I'll be fine. <laughs> Somebody else in here? That's probably. Did you fall down, Henry? to know as Archibald McCann of Scotland Yard is far from home. He possesses secret knowledge about a monster of the human kind, a monster called Jack the Ripper, armed with a surgical blade and the dead man's gun. In the American West, a gun touched by evil passed from hand to hand, changing the lives of all who possessed it. Its origin unknown, its dark legend grew, till it came to be known as the Dead Man's Gun. Good day. Would you be Sheriff Tom Crocker? What can I do for you? I am Detective Inspector McCann of the London Police. London? Like in England? The very same. Wondered why you were dressed like that. Did you receive my telegram? You're, you're the guy that wanted to know about the Maggie Conroy murder. Was that the woman's name? What would you care about her murder if you didn't know who she was? While I was in New York, I noticed a small item in the newspaper which said that a prostitute had been eviscerated in the town of Threshold and a suspect was in custody. You still haven't answered my question, McLean. It's McCann, sir. I have been sent here in pursuit of a man who murdered five prostitutes in London last fall and he left them in a condition as similar to that of the Conroy woman. Now, we know the prime suspect in the London slayings is an American who fled back to this country. He could be the man you have in custody. Well, you've come a long way for nothing, McCann. The guy who got it, Maggie Conroy, is a young prospector from up north. This is the farthest he's ever been from home. Would you tell me what happened? Well, the kid got drunk one night, I hired Maggie. Went back to her shack and he carved her up like a Christmas turkey. He confessed? No. He claims he didn't do it. But we found him passed out in the shack with what was left of her. I'd like your permission to interview him. You don't have any authority here, McCann. No, sir. But as you pointed out, I've come a long way. 
So you went to her place for sexual purposes? Yes, sir. But somebody got there before us. He knocked me out cold. When I woke up, I was in here, and they said that... that I... that Maggie had been... So you didn't see the person who hit you or Maggie being murdered? I didn't see anything. I didn't do anything. Well, I never met a killer who did. Henry, what were you wearing on the night of the murder? What I'm wearing now? All the clothes I got. There wasn't any blood on them. So? Evisceration is a messy business. I don't suppose you've ever been to England, Henry? <laughs> like I told you, McCann, you came a long way for nothing. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Morning, Rita. What can I do for you? My usual request, apprehend the murderer of Maggie Conroy. Oh, Rita. Other girls might be in danger, Mr. Crocker. You've got the wrong man in custody. This here is Detective McCann. Came all the way from England. Mr. McCann, this is Rita LeMay, proprietor of the town's entertainment. The bordello. I call it Rita's house of delight. Really? <laughs> How extraordinary. Are you shocked, Mr. McCann? No, it's just we don't discuss such matters quite so freely in England. Why not? It's a business like any other. Yes. Well, do you have any pertinent information, Miss LeMay? Well, not exactly. But I bet money that young Henry didn't slaughter Maggie. He's not the type. So why would the London police be interested in the murder of a no-count whore? Have you ever heard the name Jack the Ripper? He savagely butchered several ladies of the night in the Whitechapel district of London. Speculation is he obtained sexual gratification by mutilating them. Well, listen, McCann. I don't know what it's like where you come from. But around here, people get killed for money, revenge, or just plain meanness. Not for the reasons you just stated. It's a comfortable idea that human motives remain the same. But based upon the fact of Jack the Ripper, it seems they do evolve. What we have here, perhaps, is a totally new kind of predator. Repetitive and motivated by a devilish appetite. You say you suspected an American? Hmm. A man who called himself Tumbleby. So why didn't you arrest him? By the time we'd fixed him as a likely suspect, he'd fled back to New York. And that's when the Ripper murder stopped. And now you think he's here in Threshold? Maggie Conroy's murder has all the hallmarks of his work. It was Henry Bowlers who killed her. Not your Jack the Ripper. And if you're wrong... Drop it, friend. Go fetch Doc Telford. Extraordinary. Is this kind of violence a common occurrence? Yep, I suppose it is. But at least it's normal. It's beyond my help, Tom. This one's a job for the undertaker. One more expense for the town. You might as well take this, unless you don't have one. We don't carry firearms, Sheriff. Well, you're not in England now, McCann. Around here, every man carries a gun. Thank you. I'll take my chances without it. May I walk with you, Doctor? I've got a few questions. By all means. Tom didn't say why you've come all the way from London, Mr. McCann. It's a special assignment. 
in pursuit of a special criminal, I presume. I'm not at the liberty to divulge particulars, but yes, an extremely dangerous individual. Have you lived in Threshold long, Doctor? Uh, just a few months now. And before that? Chicago. Here we are. We come inside. I suppose this is a good town for a physician. One could make a comfortable living in gunshot wounds alone. It's rough, but it's liberating. One isn't pinned down by the older rules of more civilized societies. Like England, you mean? Have you been there, Doctor? I have, yes. Fifteen years ago. Not recently? No. Are these questions official, Inspector? I'm um, just curious. I was wondering, have you encountered any man in Threshold who is sexually unusual? Unusual? I'm afraid you'll have to be more specific. Well, possibly aggressive, rough with women. A sadist, you mean? Yes. Well, it's not really my, um... The person who might be able to help you with that question is Rita LeMay. Yes, I've already met the lady. Well, if anyone knows who does what, she'd be the one. The tools of my trade, Mr. McCann. I imagine you'd see them in a somewhat different light. And what light is that, Doctor? Well, this is just a guess on my part, but I suspect you're on the trail of the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. You've heard of him? I'm surprised. We do have newspapers in Chicago, Mr. McCann. You think the Ripper is here, in Threshold? That young woman, Maggie Conroy. Yes. Tom, uh, Sheriff Crocker, had me examine her remains. She looked like she'd been savaged by a maniac. Did you form any idea about the weapon the killer used? Something sharp. Very sharp. A razor, I suspect. Or a surgical blade. I suspect it's a lucky thing I wasn't in London last year, Mr. McCann. Can you send that straight away? Yes, sir. He's here somewhere. Gents, make your choices. If you want to fondle the merchandise, go to the grocery. Time is money. Mr. McCann, an unexpected pleasure. That'll be enough, Brandy. I said enough. Now get back to the other girls. Welcome to Rita's House of Delight. Thank you, Miss LeMay. Unfortunately, delight is not my mission. I was hoping to have a word with you in private. Certainly. I'll be free at 10 o'clock in the morning. Then perhaps we could meet for breakfast. I should warn you, Mr. McCann, that most people in this town don't want to be seen with me. Oh, fortunately, Miss LeMay, I'm not from this town. <laughs> Good evening. Did you get a good look at him? Big chap with a scar, and I suspect he was trying to run me over. What for? Well, maybe he wanted to frighten me out of town. Ain't hardly anybody who knows you're here. There's you, Miss LeMay, and Dr. Tilford. Tilford. Just how much do you know about him? Not much. He's a pretty good doctor. Mm. That may be exactly what I'm looking for. 